Hello there. Welcome to a brand new session of learning. No one wants a war. Nobody likes to fight in a war. If two nations can sit together to find a solution instead of fighting with each other, that could save a lot of lives. And that's exactly the thought that has been reflected in this story, the best Christmas present in the world. But before I tell you more about it, let me introduce you to the author. Sir Michael Morpurgo is an English book author, poet, playwright and lyricist. He is best known for writing children's novels such as War Horse. His work is noted for its magical storytelling, for frequent themes such as the victory or survival of an outsider, for characters' relationships with nature and for vivid settings such as the World War I. Morpurgo became the third children's laureate from 2003 to 2005. So let me tell you about the story that we are about to read. It is one of Morpurgo's stories with a backdrop of the World War I. In this story, the main character describes his experiences at the war camp to his wife through a letter. Now let's read the story and understand the details. The Best Christmas Present in the World by Michael Morpurgo I spotted it in a junk shop in Bridport, a roll-top desk. The man said it was early 19th century and oak. I had wanted one, but they were far too expensive. This one was in a bad condition. The roll-top in several pieces, one leg clumsily mended, Scorch marks all down one side. It was going for very little money. I thought I could restore it. It would be a risk, a challenge, but I had to have it. I paid the man and brought it back to my workroom at the back of the garage. I began work on it on Christmas Eve. I removed the roll top completely and pulled out the drawers. The veneer had lifted almost everywhere. It looked like water damage to me. Both fire and water had clearly taken their toll on this desk. The last drawer was stuck fast. I tried all I could to ease it out gently. In the end, I used brute force. I struck it sharply with the side of my fist and the drawer flew open to reveal a shallow space underneath a secret drawer. There was something in there. I reached in and took out a small black tin box. Cello taped to the top of it was a piece of lined note paper and written on it in shaky handwriting, Jim's last letter received January 25, 1915, to be buried with me when the time comes. I knew as I did it that it was wrong of me to open the box, but curiosity got the better of my scruples. It usually does. Inside the box, there was an envelope. The address read, Mrs. Jim Macpherson, 12 Copper Beaches, Bridport, Dorset. I took out the letter and unfolded it. It was written in pencil and dated at the top, December 26, 1914. So in this part of the story, we can see that the author visited a junk shop in Bridport. He had spotted a roll-top desk in this shop and he wanted to buy it. The shopkeeper informed him that the roll-top was from the early 19th century and made of oak. Now, this kind of furniture was considered to be antique and certainly was expensive. Also, the roll-top desk was not in a very good condition. One of its legs was loosely mended and there were marks of burning on the other side. Still. The author really wanted to buy it and he thought that he will be able to restore it. Eventually, he bought the roll-top desk and began working on it on Christmas Eve. So, he removed the roll-top completely and pulled out the drawers. Since the veneer had come off at many places, the author thought it was damaged due to exposure to water. The last drawer was stuck fast and wouldn't come out easily, so the author removed it forcibly. When the drawer flew open, he could see a shallow space under it. And voila, there was a secret drawer. And guess what? There was something in there. 
he took out a small black tin box and on top of the tin box there was a note that said Jim's last letter received January 25, 1915 to be buried with me when the time comes. Now it is certainly a bad habit to read someone's letters but curiosity got the better of the author and he opened the box. Inside was an envelope on which the address read Mrs. Jim McPherson, 12 Copper Beaches, Bridport, Dorset. The author opened the letter, which was dated December 26, 1914. Isn't it always exciting to find a secret letter? There's always a sense of mystery that surrounds a discovery such as this. But don't worry, I shall soon reveal the mystery. I will be back with more about Jim and Connie in the upcoming videos, so stay tuned. Tutormate For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.